Why, hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my dang one um, crucible update on my Righteous Fire Juggernaut. So we are level 88, did kind of a long push. Uh, had a lot of fun, played for about 15 hours. I've been doing a bit of the league mechanic. Uh, and I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a rundown of what's going on. So I'm currently just running on four links, no plus gem shenanigan, just very bare bone basic four link gear. Uh, somehow have managed to not die and we are going face first into everything i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some map progression uh, i think it's good to show some content that's difficult right to understand what to expect so i'm on level 19 gems right now so my rf is elemental focus efficacy righteous fire burn damage again just very bare bone basic stuff we're gonna go run a tier 12 map over here to kind of help push my progression uh, so with that being said let's go Okay. I'm gonna skip the delirium because uh, it's gonna be pretty spooky with our current gear, so. So everything so far has went pretty well. Um, you know, running RF right away from level, I believe it was 17 or 16 has been fantastic. I have really, really liked that. Actually, one sec, we're on the wrong capture here. There we go, that should be better. Um, I really like the Crucible mechanic. It is kind of uh, a little weird to do because most of the Crucibles I've done have kind of a pretty bad outcome. So, you know, you're constantly just doing like half a Crucible on a weapon and then another half a Crucible on another weapon and then you kind of just like stop. So I definitely see this being a lot more enjoyable for me in SSF because of the way SSF gear progression kind of works, right? Because usually in Trade League what happens is you... Buy a fractured piece of gear and then you craft on the fractured piece of gear to get a good you know a good piece of gear and now with crucible you you could do that but then the minute you get a bad like tree which is probably like 95 percent of the time um not really sure what you're supposed to do there right i know you can like merge trees and stuff but i guess i just haven't gone to that part with crucible yet Um, I have not made any real big purchases on this character. I believe I purchased my shield, I purchased an immortal flesh, uh, and I purchased and I purchased my uh, weapon. I'll show all my gear after this map. I'll give you some direction with where I think I am going to be aiming towards. Ooh, perfect. We got a nice expedition here so you guys can see how I'm making my currency. So I know this is always going to be a very common question. Come on, map boss. I mean, honestly, the map boss literally does no damage to us. Okay, never mind. He's... I was going to just kill him in the expedition. So this has been my currency making strategy. Nothing crazy, right? It's just something pretty simple for me, so... Straight up, I start looking for anything that says logbook over here. So if there's no logbook, then I'll go with some other ones. So like pack size I really like and uh, extra rare mobs. Obviously, do not touch the fire or else you will not be able to clear this. So we're going to click this for the pack size. We're going to grab the rare monsters. It's important to prioritize these, these right here. These are where the money are. Um, then we're going to swing around. I'm going to grab all this. I'm going to grab some more pack size. I'm going to grab some more of those skulls I was talking about. Um, and then some more quantity over here. Then you can always hover over this. So if you look, it's immune to cold, immune to lightning. That's fine. We're fire-based. Monsters apply a hex. Kind of shit, but whatever. Monsters can freeze. Doesn't affect me. We're purity of elements. Block doesn't really matter too much. Uh, penetrate fire res is kind of scary, but there is no added fire. Uh, it's added cold, so that's not too bad. So what I'm going to do here, and you don't have to do it this way, I'm going to click the explosive. I'm going to leave the map. When that happens, what's occurring right now is the expedition is continuously spawning. So as the expedition is now continuously spawning, I will typically clear out my inventory, get myself ready for my next map. In this instance, I'm just going to explain the progression of the tree. So pretty normal, uh, I dropped my Betrayal after I got a lot of my Unveils, 
I got pretty lucky with one of my rings. I got myself one of my favorite, which is a Minimum Frenzy, which also happened to have Dexterity and Chaos Res. At some point, I will try to annul a prefix off, but I really like it the way it is. So this is the weapon I purchased. Basically, I just looked for uh, fire damage over time. Sorry, plus level of fire skills and then fire multi or damage over time multi and tried to get whatever was cheap. This weapon has a spell damage roll, which is not good because it could be fire damage. It still works for the fire trap, though. Then I did some Crucible Tree on it, and uh, it's not really very good. Um, the best thing I could get is, like, maybe phasing on kill, but then buffs expire 10% faster. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I believe that Explicit Caster Damage modifier would be okay because it would give, like, 5% spell damage, but not amazing. Uh, over here, I've got Frost Bomb, Malevolence, and Determ. Now, this Frost Bomb could be Stone Golem or Blood Rage. The only reason for it is I've been running Expedition plus some other modifiers which have crazy stacking mechanics. So whenever mobs have Consecrated Ground or Healing, when you pair the Frost Bomb, which again, completely optional, right? With the Minus Recovery Mastery, which I switch later, mobs cannot heal anymore. So that completely counters them. Um, helmet, I identified. It's just 1k armor. The Eldritch Influences are really poopoo on it right now. Here I've got Vitality, Arrogance, Purity of Elements, Infernal Cry. Amulet, I identified, I used Blight to put on Arsonist, so that is the Anoint located here. Um, shield, I purchased for a couple of Chaos. Basically, I was looking for plus one fire with life. Um, I actually did the Crucible Tree on it, and it's not bad. I got 40 life, I got Ellie Res, minus chance to block. I don't really care too much for that. Chill Attacker, recover 50 life. This other ring I straight up identified. I'd like to replace this later with a heavier Chaos Res ring. I uh, crafted this glorious plate with the method of throw a bunch of alks at it, throw a bunch of scours, throw a bunch of essence, basically throw a whole bunch of stuff on the wall and whatever sticks you go with. Honestly, in Trade League, you could just buy stuff. I'm still a lot more of an SSF player, so I'm not really good at the whole my currency is worth this much. I like selling stuff in Trade League. I hate buying stuff. I <laughs> uh, found these gauntlets sometime during the campaign. Um, pretty good. I've been throwing a few acres at it, trying to get fire exposure. Bought an Immortal Flesh for a couple of Chaos. Unfortunately, I scammed myself because I was tired. I thought it said 338, not 238 roll. Uh, so it's pretty poopy rolled, but that's fine. And then my boots, uh, Movement Speed, Chaos Res. Um, nothing too crazy here. Uh, and that's pretty much the gear. Skill Tree is exactly like the POB, right? Okay. So, now, and I'm actually getting Soul of Steel right now. So, I'm going to go inside this wharf map, and I'm going to show you what I do. There's a lot of mobs. We get an immunity timer. So, right when we click to move, our Molten Shell is going to activate. I'm going to press all my flasks. I'm going to press my Righteous Fire. I'm going to look for the biggest dense part, and I'm going to press Infernal Cry. So, that would be like here. Okay, now I'm going to stall, and I'm going to wait for the Infernal Cry to come back up again. Okay, and there we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing one more time. That is how I clear Expedition. Now, if you happen to get lucky, you will get a logbook drop. Logbooks can sell upwards of 15, 20, 25 chaos. They're pretty solid. That is how all of my money, for the most part, um, that's where it comes from. I'm going to start working on a new filter where I'm hiding all of this stuff. So be on the lookout if, you know, you're a little bit more experienced and don't want to pick up any of this stuff anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it for now. Leveling was super smooth as well. I believe we started RF at, I think it was 17. 17, once we got the Fire Mastery here. A lot of people, unfortunately, are still struggling. I think PoE is a game where you're just going to struggle in if you don't fully know what you're doing. Um, but this Life Regen Mastery is kind of crazy. So running like 1600 life regen, pretty bad gear. I don't have percent regen on my helmet or my gloves, so pretty fantastic. Uh, and then I guess last thing people want is numbers. So RF is currently 145k and fire trap is 137k. Well, that's going to be pretty much about it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys tomorrow.